This project that we're at today is another important water quality project. It will help benefit the communities of Green Meadows and Watts, uh, the 8th, 9th, and parts of the 15th council districts. Uh, it'll help us ensure that we have clean, high quality water, uh, which requires that we have uh, good infrastructure, good water uh, resources, including groundwater. And of course, uh, the most important asset is the men and women who work 24-7 uh, at LADWP. We do take our water quality quite seriously and we look forward to this, uh, this well being in, in service. And earlier this year, council approved a rate increase and that rate increase helps us to invest in the infrastructure. We didn't have the, the money to invest in the infrastructure to the level that we needed to. Their hard work and, and dedication now allows us to be here and do things such as this infrastructure that improves water quality and water availability. Right here below our feet, where we're standing is a very important water resource. It's part of the central groundwater basin. And the city of Los Angeles is the second largest water rights holder in the central groundwater basin area amongst many communities. And we know that this is an important water supply, not only because it's local, but because it really represents the future of Los Angeles and trying to reduce our dependence on imported water that comes in from hundreds of miles away that's subject to drought and climate change and catastrophic failures such as by an earthquake. So this water is important, not only to this community, but to the city for what it symbolizes. So what we're constructing here today is a facility that allows us to add ammonia to the water to convert from chlorine disinfection to something called chloramine disinfection. And it allows us to meet new water quality standards. The water quality has always met the standards, but the standards continue to change. And as the standards change, we look for how we best treat the water to meet those standards and position ourselves for a successful future. And for people who are sensitive to the taste of chlorine, uh, you should notice an improvement in the flavor of the water. Or if you're in a home that has aging uh, galvanized metal pipes, uh, you'll notice improvements as well. Uh, for some of us, you just know that the water continues to come out, continues to be drinkable, and following the major flushing operation that we did this summer, um, we'll know that the water in Watts will continue to be clean and clear and healthy to drink for many, many, many decades in the future.